On tonight's episode of Geekology, we muse about model kits, price ranges and what are they trying to do to us. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Stan. And tonight, look at the shiny shiny. <laughs> AMT ships the line range. Yeah. The USS Enterprise NCC 1701. Um, I wasn't going to pay £17 for this or £16 or whatever it's been selling for. I was like, no, I know, I'm not doing it. It's a ship that's going to be this big. No. Um, but then you managed to get it on sale. I found it on eBay. And it was being sold by um, Amarang, who were the distributors who set the ridiculous prices for the AMT kits in this country, to be fair, um, who had it listed at £16. And they said, um, we have a few to clear out, uh, 16 quid, and they actually had make an offer on it. So I said, tenner, and they went, all right. And I went, that'll do. <laughs> so, yeah, including shipping. And then they sent it out in this massive box. It was literally... A massive box. Did they Amazon it? No, it came through Royal Mail. No, Amazon sent out like the wafer thin fucking dinner and great big boxes with shit that's what we're happy. Never mind. No, they don't. <coughs> Not me, they don't. It's just me. Oh, okay. okay. Anyway. Do you? Anyway. So this turns up in this massive box which went through Royal Mail and frankly didn't need would to. have cost twice as much as it needed to if they just put it in a flat box. Mm. But there we go. Right, um, as people may or may not know, this is essentially, from what I understand, um, the one twenty-five scale kits done as pre-printed, snap pre-decorated kits. snap kits. Um, and they did four of them originally, which were the Enterprise, the D7 Battlecruiser, the Reliant and the Defiant. Mm -hmm. um, they don't appear to have sold well enough for them to do a second run, even though they were really hard to get hold of, which is... Sounds a bit weird. Something's gone wrong there somewhere, um, because they were really for the first year you couldn't get them, or they were insane prices. Like even now, some people are selling this at thirty quid. Yeah. So you're just like, really? Um, in all fairness, though, in England we are running out of places that sell toys like this. Yeah. Well. Mm -mm. The problem is with Star Trek models in this country, there's very few places that will take them on anyway. Mm -hmm. um, which might be why Amarang charge what they do, because they're not going to sell many. I mean, to give you an idea for those of you who are in the United States, um, you're aware that for the 50th anniversary, or rather, should have been for the 50th anniversary and missed, um, was a set of seven Enterprises in this scale, 12500, which for the first time had an NX01 in it. Yep. It had the 1701, 1701 refit, no way. Uh, why you'd put the refit in no way, no idea. Um, the B, the C, the D, and the E, all on the same scale, same box. In the States, it was selling for about 60 to 70 dollars. Yeah, over here it's 129 pounds 99 suggested retail price. That is insane. Yeah, and for that price, they didn't even include the lube, quite, or glue, or paint. Um, but it has all of those lovely decals like the AMT kit we did last time around. Mm. Um, so, shall we get it out? Go on, then whip oh, it out for the boys and girls. I've already taken haven't. photos before I brought it over, so, mm. which is always useful. And I quite like the fact that they're using uh, a Transformers style box card thing, so you can get it. It's nice when you get repackaged. Now, for those of you who don't know, the ships of the line name is pretty much taken from the calendars and the books. The books, yeah. um, which are, to be fair, rather nice. I rather enjoy the, the coffee table book. To be fair, mm. I've had both versions of it. Um, I don't really get the calendars because ours are always a year behind the states these days. Mm. Which is a bit pap. Um, but there we go. Uh, but one of the reasons it's called Ships of the Line range is that there's a card inside which is taken from the calendars and the books. Have you noticed that they used a perforated edge down the uh, corner of the bubble pack filler? Oh, yeah. Which is nice. Yes, just quite nice. Okay, so standard blister pack backing piece for 
Yeah. The pieces, a couple of pieces are on uh, snap skeletons, but the rest is, is yeah. pre-set out. And then you've got a separate bubble with your specialised collector card in it, okay. which is, funnily enough, the, the, the front one, there's only one per issue. So you've got uh, the Enterprise there on the front, but the back shows that it's card three of what will be a complete panel I'm set to show off. If that would have been more than four cards, because I know what image that is, and that would be really big. quite big. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this was literally supposed to be first assortment of quite a long range, and it's never happened, which is a shame. <laughs> Who knows? But that's quite a nice uh, tomorrow is yesterday shot. Oh yeah. From the um, from the calendar. Okay, they've done that nice thing about putting all the legal information printed on the underneath of the source section. So the inside the model once you're done. Yeah. Yeah, nice. that's really nice. That is nice. Detail with that. That's that's quite cool. Yeah. Recognisable. Oh, that's a shame. And on that side too. What do you not like? I don't like the fact that the decals run over the, uh, the if you look at the squares. Oh right, the detailing. Yeah. So, yeah. But on the other hand, this thing is itty bitty. Yes, this is true. This is really small. That's so right. let's see the instructions, what do they look like? Okay. Do they put anything nice on the stand or is it just plain black? Just plain black stand. Which I think is pretty much the same as what they put into the big kit now, the, uh, the seven ship kit. Yeah. And there you go. You'll probably recognise these instructions, but I've a feeling they'll be the same as some of the one. Yeah, the same yeah, as the same. One, 2,500 kits from years and years ago. Um, they do the job. They do the job. Go on then, so, pop that bad boy together. Okay. Should I take photos of it in pits? Mm. Might not be a bad I'll idea. What I'll do is I'll pop them back on there temporarily. Pop the backing card on. Because you can always edit the footage. Yeah. I'd, I'd leave that off because that way you won't have to shine. Smart arse. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's pop the stand together. This is a good place to start. Well, that was time consuming. Yep. Right. Primary hole first. Sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like a plan. Um, so that just snaps together there. All the way around. Oh, that's definitely a saucer section. Right. Um, the cells. You Come need on. to open up the secondary hole. Do you just snip it on? Hmm. No, you just snip it on. It, and it yeah. shows it open. Yeah, that's because the original kit wasn't too yeah, hard. Yeah, but this one isn't. No, quite. So the bips. Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite bizarre, isn't it? Mm. Right. Well, I like what they've done there. Posts and holes on the um, on the nacelles mm -hmm. that stop you from putting them together in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Which is quite nicely done. That is nicely done. Right, so there we go. Would you like me to do the slice? Yes, if you don't mind. I don't mind. That would be epic. Do you want a knife? Yeah. Do Please do not do this the way that I do it. Yeah, you don't want your fingers off. Now, most companies tell you to twist these off, but I still prefer cut. It's interesting, they're saying to put this on afterwards and they don't seem to want to go on. I would have put those on first, I'd have put it on as yeah. No, 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 well. Ooh, what? Careful. See, that's what you don't twist. See, see how rough that edge is with yeah. the twist? Yeah, always better off cutting. <clears throat> I'll let you have a look at this before I suggest a way of dealing with it. The way of dealing with it being glue, I'm guessing? No, I'd get a little file and just scooch it okay. inside a bit, but have a look at it and see if you can do it first. Do you want to have a look at the main deflector and I'll do the back of the nose on? 
back in the day at two ninety nine, this had still been overpriced. Yes. This is shocking. Would you like me to go and grab a micro file? Yeah, I'm gonna be able to because that's not that hole's not there. No, it's not lined up properly either. If you look at the yeah. There we go. Fantastic. Brilliantly straight. I don't think the rest of the ship is, to be honest. Um. I'd have expected with a retail price of 16 quid for this to be a bit more. Yeah. But then, you know, back in the day, mm. this kit, the three Enterprise set was 12 99 for all three. Yeah. So, and they weren't snap fit back then. No, they weren't. Snap fit doesn't work very well for the Enterprise, does it? It needs glue, I feel. I mean, it's not hideous, but... It's all right. Yeah. I can see a kid losing their patience with this very quickly. Yeah. And as an adult, to be brutally honest, uh, no. Yeah. Especially not the kind of prices they were expecting. Not months. with the retail price of this. Seven ninety nine tops? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Seven quid I'd buy these quite happily. Yeah. And a tenner, I'd really be thinking about it. Everything after that, it stands no bloody but chance. When you compare that with one thing, oh, I'm, not, I'm one. not comparing it with, with other things hmm. because that's not fair. It is what Isn't it, it is. No. No, it's it, I mean, it's it other things in the market. I mean, a completely assembled Eagle Moss version of this ship, which is bigger, is a tenner. Yeah, that's true. You've got to you've got to work that in, and then you've got the little light up enterprise <gasps> at seven ninety nine in, yeah. in the little press series. I like um, that series. That was a good series. It's still going? Is it still going? Yeah, they're just in a tricorder and ball queue. Uh, no, they've been out for a while. They're not new. The the tricorder. The tri and ball. No, 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 no. The next gen tricorder. I've seen that. Yeah, I had it in my head it was old. No, 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 it's not. Um, so, I mean, it's all right, but... I'll, I'll, it's overpriced. It's yeah. overpriced. I'll do some images and, and, and compare it with other things around about the same okay, passport. So but, yeah. I'll go with it's all right, it's cute, it's kind of fun, it's retro, there's some enjoyment value here, but all of those disappear. Was the price? I mean, I agree. This, I mean, this is okay. It's, it's not 15, 16, 17 quid's worth. Don't go on. No. Um, and the other thing you've got to bear in mind is the only time you ever really, really consider getting a 125 under scale original series enterprise or the refit is them. if you're just playing with something else in the same scale the only, to show the scale. The only reason, and I think, it, to tell you the truth, I honestly believe it's the only reason that you have such a thing about this particular scale mm. is because you like everything to be in line with the D and that's the best scale for the D because the next scale up from the D is ridiculous and the scale up after that is just like, yeah. oh my God, where's my living room gone? Yeah, I mean, so, the things is like, I mean, I've got the refit model kit that's um, one 350 scale. Yes. Where the ship will end up being this size and and remind me where that is that's on it's top in of its my box wardrobe. yeah in its, and it's, it's an eventual thing event yeah. you're gonna have to yeah. killed or kicked the children out of home well yeah and i've had a well, massive that was originally brought to the idea of being done to be a display thing for a shop would would be about the only place you'd have size for it. And it's like I want to get them some proper lighting for it. I want to get oh, the yeah. photo etched. Bits you know they're doing new lighting like. kits for that as well. I saw mm. them at an event recently. Yeah. Um, I, I want the lighting kits. I want to. I want to get an Enterprise D or E and get one of the new phaser strip lighting kits that actually goes. Those things are gorgeous. Oh, they do. Yeah. Wow, they're pretty. Um, but going back to this, if, yeah. if you're going to have a model of the TOS Enterprise or the Refit Enterprise, it's not going to be in this scale. You're going to be wanting a 1, 000, 1 to 1,000. 1 to 1,000. Um, I would say. And no, I've never had the 1 to 1,000. They're right, I've made a couple. Um, no, I haven't. I've made one. I've made one. Of the 1 to 1,000. Mm. Which ship? Enterprise. No, the original. The original series. Original Enterprise. series. Um, because that's not an old kit. No, it's a new kit. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get the pre-printed one or the... Um... It was pre-printed and done, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. The one in the it's not in box. my collection. I've got asked to make it. Oh, wait, the like, one yeah, in the window it. box, the way you can see the the, the, yeah. the hole through it. Um, but I'm not sure. I can. I, I. I'm not sure. I'm happy with this at a tenner, let alone what it should have been sold at. Six um, or seven quid. I yeah. would have thought would be the retail on that. Yeah. Um, and the fact snap fit does not work for this kind of design. It just doesn't hold together brilliantly. Okay. It needs glue in, in place. Me and you are going to have to disagree with that. I think Snapfit does work for the design of ship, but just not that size. Well, okay. Yeah, it's because it's so small. Yeah. It's not working. It's not holding together. It's not holding But the thing place is, and... see, the trouble is when you start getting down into this, mm. I've only ever seen a handful of Snap kits of this size yeah. that work. They're not, it's not, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. There we go. Right. Well, there will be photos. Um, check them out on Flickr uh, for higher resolution than we can show on here. Um, but there you go. Well, alright, well, let's do this as we would the Eagle Moss. Yeah, give um, it a score. Hi, yeah, score it. Are we scoring it at the RRP? Yeah, we've got to score it at the RRP. <laughs> I tell you, do, do you really want to do? I tell you, we'll give it two scores. Give it two scores. RRP five, but it's five points. Four. Okay. Um, at a tenner, I think I mark up. At seven, five, yeah, at seven ninety nine, it's another point up. Um, but it can't. I, I cannot give, with all fairness. Mm. I cannot give this more than a six. Yeah. It's just not. The thing is, is this looks like the Western version of the gum kits. Yeah. That, you know what? That is exactly what it is. Yeah. And and the gum kits tended to be better than this. I liked them. And, I mean, from, from putting Futural, together. Futural. Futuro. 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 Yeah. Futuro. I always say it wrong. But, um, yeah. but um, though, to be honest, sometimes their paint scheme and, and decaling wasn't bang on. Yeah, but the moulds... But the, the moulds were better and they put and you can put them, they went together better. Yeah. Uh, so swings and roundabouts there, but their recommended retail price in Japan for them was the equivalent of what? Three or four pounds? Yeah, it was nothing. Um, and obviously they went up significantly by the time they got to us, but um, as imports. Yeah, but, you don't want to know how much a set of those goes for today. Oh, no, no, but I, I used to buy them by the case. Yeah. And they worked out to be about five reach that way. Yeah. And then you, you you know you'd get your chase figures, and then just sell the rest. Um, I did that with the pins. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so yes, it's a bit of a disappointment to be honest. And mm. it looks really shiny in the box. Yeah, I am not going to be in a huge hurry to get the rest. Collector's card. See, you're going to need it for the collector's card. Um. But yeah, I'm not going to be in a hurry for the rest. In fact, I'm slowly losing my enthusiasm, enthusiasm for this scale mm. because it it just seems that they don't hold together very well. And th but that's because well, you scale. can always go back and read glue. Yeah, cut and read glue. I'd cut and read glue. Um, because you need to, you need to do a few. Little I want it needs to be in line, and the cells aren't sitting in line, mm. which is. Irritating. I wouldn't affect the defined. No, no. Um, but Actually, so, out of all of these, that would be the easiest top piece, yeah. bottom piece. Bang. Oh, look, done! <laughs> so, yeah. Be interesting. I mean, it'd be interesting to see what the other ships looks like in this. I mean, the, the, the Reliant would be like, quite intriguing because then you could picture what the refit would look like. Um, I bet you mm. that they did the Defiant, a top piece, a middle piece, and the, the end cone separately. What the warhead that ejects with antimatter in it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still going to get the rest of the one twenty five hundred. I'm going to get the reliant. Kits. I'll get the reliant, but only if, if I cheaper. see it at the right price. Yeah. It is only the four cards to make up that picture. In in that in this range, because there was only four released, but the back the, those, that print on the, the back, back just suggested it's, it's much bigger. Um, so I've got a feeling they this was originally going to be a set of twelve ships. And I'll or tell you what is interesting, just from a, a sad git who likes packaging point of view. Okay, um, many of you will have seen this particular style, but what you will have actually seen is that half of it, because that's what they released with all the figures. 
That with the delta in is the first time I've actually seen one complete. Okay. Because normally you see it as that. Right. Not fair enough. So well, things good. like the keyrings, phone covers, mm. all the stuff that only had that section. Okay. Or that section. So to see that complete, it's the first time. Correction. I've seen what it was in the masterpiece mm. packaging, so you knew what it was meant to be. Mm. But this is the first time as actual released packaging right. that, that they've done that. So that was quite interesting. Just on a how sad are you scale, that that has to be up there. <laughs> right, well, I think that about yep. covers it. Yep, absolutely. That wraps it up for our ramblings, but you know yep. what? We'd love to read yours, so please leave them in the comment section below. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And as Sven has already mentioned, there is the Flickr account. There you go. Thank you for watching, and good night. Bye. Bye. Ecology, we muse about the meaning of life, the universe, everything, and stock shows. Ramming it in there! This is your specialty. How are you getting on with that? Right, let's just. Uh, Victory, the hole is too small for the post.